So we arrived in Tokyo on a Friday evening. Ryan and I jumped in the train to Shinagawa Station from Narita Airport. I had been fairly ill all week leading up to the trip. Ryan and I went for a little run on Saturday. What up? We are here in Numazu, Japan. As you can tell I'm not feeling super hot. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. We're gonna go out for a 40, 45 minute run. We're on the Izu Trail Journey 70K tomorrow. See how it goes, a little shake out to get the long flight, the long travel day out of our legs, but uh, good to be here. to check in for the easy trail journey 70k tomorrow morning it's beautiful beautiful race. Obviously I've been to UTMF twice and plan to come back for next year's UTMF so I figured it'd also be good to experience ITJ. A thousand excited runners here to take on the easy trail journey. Good morning. So we've got like 40 minutes, I guess. Yep. I might just jog around a little bit. How are you feeling so far? So so. That's all right, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it, man. Definitely 
coughing and hacking and it's not rocketing. Like maybe three minutes. Within the first couple miles, I could tell that it was gonna be a hard day for me uh, after being sick all week. It was just pretty low energy. That combined with the jet lag and the fatigue from the travel made it pretty apparent that I was not gonna be able to be competitive during the easy trail journey, 70K. But I still tried to do my best, sort of change the psychology, approach it more as a training day, hopeful to just get to the finish line. Good job. No. I asked for a second one and they're like, no, only one. Ah, another creeper. Yeah, it's a lot of these. You cramping? Yeah, like crazy. Nice little walk in Japan. Not what we came for, but you know, you get what you deserve. Eerily similar to the Grand Raid, isn't it, Ryan? Yeah. Just a couple bros walking in the little bro mosey through the woods on the island. How is it? Seems legit. BCAAs, collagen, and protein. Okay. Good try. I think the major lesson from ITJ is that you almost always get what you deserve in sports and certainly in trail running leading into the race. I've just been working super, super hard on free trail. Of course, we just had our first child too, which has been a joy. Both of those things have been a joy, uh, but it hasn't left a lot of time or energy to devote to training. And so coming into ITJ, my expectations should have been very low. And, you know, now in retrospect, the unfortunate result totally makes sense. I was just not prepared to race that day and really all season has been a bit of a challenge for me to find a competitive groove but like i said everything outside of running has been really fun really rewarding this season the next day we returned to tokyo to the famous neighborhood of shibuya where we were staying for a couple of days there we did some fun shopping, we did some media interview stuff, and generally just enjoyed this fantastic international city.
通り抜け、電気のご利用、撮影、見学のためのご入室はご入力ください。新型コロナウイルス感染拡大防止の観点から The main purpose of our trip here to Japan was to work on some new advanced trail running apparel that we are going to be bringing to market with our partners at Goldwyn. And so we took the train out to Toyama on the northwest coast of Japan and spent the day at the corporate headquarters diving deeply into every detail of the product, the design, the materials, the construction. And honestly, it was just such a joy to work with the Goldwyn team. Every detail is considered deeply. The care and attention that they bring to everything is something that we really came to admire in our time at headquarters working with the team. We also did some body scans, some biomechanical research. We did some animations of my movement into a digital interface. I'm not entirely sure how they're planning to use that right now, but it was a really cool technological experience there at headquarters as well. Overall, it was a great day in Toyama. It was such an honor to be able to work with the Goldwyn team on this product, and we can't wait to show it to the trail running world early in 2023. So of course now it is the end of 2022, which is a good time to reflect. An intense year in many ways, even though I didn't do a lot of competing, certainly much less than I'm used to. It was really a rewarding year on the business side, working on free trail. My wife, Harmony and I welcomed our first child into the world. And now of course, looking ahead to 2023, I want to turn my sights back to competition. Hopefully, carving out the space and energy in my life again to be a professional athlete. My goals are to run UTMF in the spring, then do Hard Rock in the middle of the summer, and if there's any energy left in the tank, maybe UTMB. Big goals set for myself, and I'm hopeful that this year, being quiet on the racing front, will give me a lot of motivation, fire, and energy to return to competition next year.